Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Roxy Darling and I make videos of things I create. In this video, I will be doing a makeover of this display case coffee table. I will begin by cleaning the table with a scrubby sponge and some soapy water just to remove any oils or debris that have collected over time. I will also be removing the hardware before I begin using some chalk paint to cover the piece. And I will be saving these knobs for later, so stay tuned. These are the colors I have chosen, a pale pink and a green. I am not sponsored by these companies, I just wanted you to see what paint I would be using in case you wanted to use these paints for a future project yourself. I realize that these paints colors aren't for everybody and that's cool. I would love to hear in the comment section below what color would you paint this if at all? Would you stain it? Would you leave it as is? And what would you put in the display case area? To be able to open the drawers to get the items out it needs to only be about two inches deep. Otherwise, you could put items up to about six inches deep in there if you just wanted to remove the glass case. Here you'll notice I am getting some streaks from the brush. I will remove those streaks by using a fine mist water bottle and it will keep the chalk paint from drying out and give me time to smooth out all the edges. And no project would be complete without assistance from Little, my lovely cat, who likes to keep an eye on everything. <laughs> I'm so sorry I had to. And this is the part of the drawer that we'll be showing in the display case. And I'm using the same color of green that I used in a previous furniture makeover project. So the link to that will be in the description box below. As 
as I let this dry, I'm going to start on the piece that will go in the display case. I'm going to start off with some embroidery stretcher bars. They're not the same as regular painting stretcher bars because they're flat rather than angled and a piece of foam core cut out to the same size as this. I could have used a wooden canvas instead, but I wanted the reservoir to be deeper. I wanted it to be approximately two inches. Here I am adding a mixture of wood glue and water and paper macheing the raw edges of the stretcher bars and the foam core. Once that's dry, I will do a mixture of gesso and wood glue as a water resistant primer before I add paper clay details. I'm using the same chalk paint to paint this as I am to paint the coffee table. So yeah, that's why it looks familiar. And do you remember these? Yeah, I'm about to show you what I'm going to turn those into. As those dry, I'm going to go back and work on the coffee table. I am adding a clear furniture wax so all the paint stays nice and crisp and doesn't absorb any oils from fingers or debris. And I'm spending a little extra time on the sides of the drawer so because they'll be sliding in and out. And then I'm removing the clear wax with a microfiber cloth and adding details of gold with this stuff called unicorn hair. Yes, unicorn hair. I wanted extra sparkles.
And now to add the sand tray that was inspired by geodes. You'll see me adding decorative elements to the tray, which I will be making and posting a shorts video on how I made these elements. You can see the knobs that were from the coffee table. I have turned into little decorative stamps for impressions in the sand. And if you liked this video, please hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in seeing what I make next, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. I'll give you a hint. It's Winter Wonderland themed. Thank you. Bye-bye.